What's up, duelers? It's Nerp here, and I am rank 10, which puts me at gold. I'm pretty proud of that. Uh, not my highest rank, I did get to rank 0, which is super. Uh, way back last July, my first month of playing. But it's always cool to be in a higher tier uh, once again, playing tougher opponents. I've been playing mostly Vitruvian as you can see, which is, is probably surprising considering my first uh, video after my hiatus was with Lionar, then I did Songhai, but I've only received 100 wins with Vitruvian. And that is because I stopped playing the Songhai deck because it is kind of outdated in my opinion. Um, most of the decks that have been beating me have been actually Songhai decks recently, and they all have this card, Lantern Fox, which is so powerful. I think this was not the same abilities I had when I used to play this game in Alpha and Beta. Or is this game still in Beta? I'm not sure. Somebody comment below what, what phase this game is in. But, uh, this is so strong. It basically pays for the card itself by drawing you at least, like, one or two cards. Uh, and the cards it draws you are so versatile as removal or direct damage to the opponent's general. Uh, I just feel like my Songhai deck without them is very, very outdated and lackluster. I do have almost 1400 spirit though, so I could upgrade my decks, but not right now. I'm actually having a ton of fun with my current decks. I went ahead and deleted all my like Vanar and Abyssian and an old Magmar decks, so I'll go I'll do them sometime. But I've been playing these two decks. Vitruvian Midrange, this is a straight up Vitruvian deck based on Dervishes and stuff. I'm playing that a bit. But I've mostly been playing Vitruvian Mechazor, so much fun. Um, replaces most of the units with Mechazor units, where if you put down five of them, you get the big Kahuna in the corner, the 8-8 eight, eight with ranged, uh, and stuff like that. And it plays also a bit on Blast with the artifacts and stuff. And that's what I'm going to play today. I have lost three straight matches with that deck. Um, it seems like these players in the gold, uh, players in gold have gotten much better. I have yet to win a game in the gold division. Hopefully this can be the first one. But when you would jump uh, divisions like that, I think you're protected from dropping down to the division before because I've lost three in a row and it hasn't bumped me to 11. So I think that's like kind of a barrier when you get past a checkpoint basically from 11 to 10. So these games are almost like free games for me. It's kind of cool. Uh, we're going to replace these two because we want to have as many Mechazors in our starting hand as we can. And we don't get any more. Oh well. My turn... Uh, good luck, have fun, sir. I'll get rid of one of these staffs. Let's just pop this right here so he can't get the that bubble. And I already have 20%, 40%, 60%, 80%, four fifths of the way there uh, on the board or in my hand to the great big Mechazor. What do you have? Do you have three job? Silver Guard Knights. Uh, I can go for a Staff of the Occur. That would have four attack. And then I could... Finish that off here. Or I could play Primus Fist instead. I think Primus Fist is a little better. So let's go for the Primus Fist. Play it here, I guess. Oh, whoops. Probably should have airdropped on one of these first I messed that I messed that up kind of then I'll get rid of this oops slight misplay I could have been a little closer to my mechazor could hurt a lot there's a dispel what does he have ah arc light regalia that's always tough to deal with. So we're not touching him right now. 
hard for me to deal with actually. I can play with a total of six mana this turn. I'm gonna get rid of the Primus Fist right now. Okay, chassis. like that. See what I can draw. Another promise. So next turn I can get Mechazor because I'm 60% of the way there and I play these two. I have Mechazor. That's a pretty early Mechazor. I'm pretty pleased. It's not like Mechazor is an auto win though. There are ways to deal with it. Okay, so that's annoying. I have to trade that, but okay. And he has to use Dancing Blades without its ability. I'm always going to sign up for that. I could give this 3 attack, but I still wouldn't have enough to destroy this, so that's not too good. I'm going to replace the Primus Fist. Or do I need, I don't need to play 2 of these, right? It needs place here though. I'm gonna place the promise fist. Hmm. Well, now I wish I kept the promise fist because now I could have destroyed this dancing blades right now. Oh, I still can actually. I just have to play the wind shroud, and then I have to play the. It's not worth it. I'd rather just be closer to Mechazord. So let's play the cannon, and then I'll play. Then I'm going to run away. I'm playing the Mechazor way back here. So hopefully he doesn't have a way to just spell that. With like an FM or Ultra Shroud or something. Okay, it's coming right for me. Okay, so Primus Shield Master. I have to spell for that. And a Windblade Adept. Hmm. Tough, tough, tough. First question. No, I can't win. I can't play this on this, right? No, I can't. I should probably put this on this so I can just snipe things. So I'm going to start by doing that. And then a double to spell. Well, I'll play Rosh's Curse now. Because that's going to go ahead and destroy. That will destroy his thing there. Um, move up, move back. I will get rid of the Primus. I guess I'll play this. Shoot down this. Protect my general. And destroy this with that. Hide in the corner with my Vitruvian. And there we are. We're looking good. He has three more health than us on his general, but we have things attacking from the corners of the board. And if he happens. Blaze Hound. Okay, so I can draw a card. Star's Fury. And Healing Mystic. Star's Fury is going to help right now. Oh. 
he surrenders, realizing he doesn't have a way to deal with this Mechazor right now, so it was going to be a slow, painful defeat. Maybe not that slow, he deals 8 at a time. Finally, I'm off of that little smidgen right there. Well, I guess I started at the smidgen, but then I went back, back, and I just was stopped at this line here. And now, I am back in business. Winning streak starts here, and that was only a 10-minute game so I could play again. And may as well switch decks. Uh, yes, yeah, let's switch decks. With my normal Vitruvian deck, not Mechazor base, more just Dervish base. For the mirror match. Good luck, have fun, sir. Oh boy, this guy is well. well adept at this game. Look at all this. So he is certainly not a beginner, and this is gonna be a tough win. I need to get good draws. So I'll start with. That's not too bad, actually. I kind of like the starting hand. Uh, what do I want to get rid of? I guess the least. I'm actually going to keep the starting hand. I think it's actually very good. One thing, maybe a Rasha's Curse would be good because in case he plays Blast this turn, a Wildfire Alk. Okay, Healing Mystic. Good luck, have fun, sir. So, I want to play two of the two drops. So I can play an Ethereal Obelisk and a Pyromancer, I guess. That seems like the play here. Yeah, and I don't line them all up because I don't want to get hit by a blast too hard. So let's play the Pyromancer down here. I guess there is good. Move. Ah, I messed it up. Darn it. <laughs> I flubbed that up. That could cost me the game. I needed to like, grab this mana string before I played that. I made that I make the mistake far too often. Okay, that's, he's gonna kill my little dude there. So be it. And does he have anything else to play? I have another two drop or a three drop. Makes that a little stronger. Okay. Now I think I well I think I want to get the Ethereal Obelisk down and I can also play the Ethereal Obelisk No, I'm not going to do a Thurial Obelisk right now. I'm just going to hit his unit and do some provoking. And I want bigger units, so I'm going to get rid of my Saber Spine Tiger. No, it's a good card, though. We're going to keep our hand. That's a big thing we can do there later. Okay, so we're at six less health, six, six less health than him. That's big. So. Oh, that's a huge card now. Well, at least I can destroy that with my Saber Spine Tiger. So that's out of the Saber Spine Tiger. And that costs three, and then I have two more to play with. And I guess then I just play the Ethereal Obelisk. Okay. Or I could move up. No, this is good. Let's do this. Let's get rid of the Primus Fist, actually. Even though it could be of use next turn. Two Dune Casters. Oh, I actually also have a Wind Shroud. So. 
if I wanted to, I could play something now and just do this thing now. Yeah, I'd rather do that. Actually, my odds are not like 100% of it spawning. Let's just do it this way. And I'm gonna go down to 15, so he has 8 more health than me now. Not too good. Let's hope this thing can spawn a dervish. And does he have a three drop as well? And provoke. Okay. So I played Dune Caster that goes to four. I can make a six six. Perfect. And that means I don't need the Saber Spine Tiger right now. Uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and replace that. A third Doomcaster. Oh boy. Then I can play one of these. So those two kill that. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna hide. Now, next turn I can play my Dominate Will and take control of something strong. A Mar Healer. There we go. Perfect. Couldn't have asked for anything better. Honestly, I think he's just going to surrender when I turn this thing around. Thank you. That is mine. I guess not going to surrender yet. I have much fewer cards than him. And let's hope we can get something bigger. Exploit, that could be interesting. Uh... I do deal six damage here. Well, I could lose. I want to protect myself. So let's stay back there. Let's deal a good six damage here. And then kill this. I'm actually lined up a little bit for a blast double. Very good. Ah, he can destroy this with a wind shroud. I didn't even realize that. Oh well. Well, no matter what I did, he was going to be able to do that if I wanted to attack with that. Plays an Amara healer. So we can just trade Amara healers. That's what I'll do. I could play Hexblade and destroy this myself so that I can deal 5 damage there. That's an option. If I play Dervish, I can get a plus 2, so I can make it a 4 attack Dervish. And that would be close to killing this, but not quite. So I'm gonna go ahead and 
I'm actually gonna get rid of the hex blade. I don't like it as a card, really, to be honest. That's a good card for us this turn. Uh, so let's go ahead and trade. So. That was relatively simple. And I'm gonna be aggressive now because we're we're gonna have provoke on the board. Let's see what he can do. Next turn I'm going to be spawning a dervish from this hopefully and then I can use a dune caster to make it big. And I think this is off countdown too so, oh well he is in tropic decay, can't really play around that too well so, oh well. And does he have something to go with that, just a moon shroud. And a saber swine tiger. Okay. Welp, I can get a Wind Shroud. Dune Caster makes that a 4 4. Okay, I think I replaced the Pyromancer. A Mara Healer, what a top deck. Getting okay, pretty lucky here with my draws, I think. How much damage would I deal to him if I just went to for his general directly? That's 4 from my Wind Shroud. And then that's two. That would be six. And the Amara takes now five. But I can't just play like with the Amara. They won't get the spell or anything. So, Wind Shroud. Then we play. I'm gonna do it like this. Because just in case he has Star's Fury, I want to stack my units like this so he can't really get a maximum Star's Fury and really hurt my general. Anything for you to do? You play your own Amara Healer. And a dervish with a rush. Well, I have an entropic decay, so honestly, it feels like this game has been getting, been getting pretty perfect draws. It's a very good player in Incogleto, considering all his all his things he had in the beginning. So, can we win? Move over here. Yeah, it's gonna be game. Oh, it's not going to be him actually, but he's going to heal up. Forgot about the healing up. Welp. He's going to gain 6, he's going to have 11, and then I'll have 5, 7, 9. He's, I'm not, alright, so I don't win the game this turn. I still have to play this play. So... I lose 5 health, and it's actually very close again. <laughs> Probably should have run away. Such a close game. Very close. Does he have... I right, see so now I can kill that without dying. Is that going to be game? No, that's a game. Wow, how did I lose that? That was such a good one. 
I was very cocky about that game, and I thought I had the victory in my grasp. Oh. Really? I lost that? I felt in control. Damn. I don't know if I was doing a lot of misplays in that game or what. Please comment and tell me if I did anything wrong. That was a good game, though. Wow. Close. But no cigar. And I'm back to here. <laughs> rank 10 might be where I end up. I can't really move away from this little starting point on rank 10. What a game. I'm glad, I, even though I lost, I'm glad that was recorded. That was a really good one. Uh, so thanks for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more content. And I'll see you next time.